Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making cupcakes, but not just any cupcakes, we're making spiderweb cupcakes. You'll need some candy melts, candies, either a piping bag or a heavy duty Ziploc bag, your favorite box of cake mix, a can of frosting, parchment paper, spiderweb template, and a baking tray. First, we're gonna make the spider webs. Since I'm using chocolate frosting, we're gonna use these white candy melts for the webs. I'm also gonna use this number two piping tip. There are several spiderweb designs that you can find online for free. Just pick the one you like and print it out small enough to cover the top of a cupcake. Now we're going to grab some parchment paper and start tracing. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're not winning any awards here. Just pipe some lines as best we can. Make as many as you want. I made about 15 before I threw in the towel. Once we're done piping our webs, we're gonna pop these in the fridge for just a few minutes. Since they're really thin, it won't take much time for them to firm up. While that's in the fridge, we're gonna make some candy spiders. These are really easy to make, way easier than the spider webs. Isn't that cute? So to make these, we're gonna take our piping bag and make an X. And then we're gonna draw a line straight through it. Super simple. Take your candy and place it on top to create your cute little spider. And that's all there is to it. We're just going to repeat this process until we have enough spiders. These little guys don't require much time in the fridge either. Next we're going to make our box cake and follow the instructions on the back. Once all of our cupcakes are baked and cooled, we're gonna take our frosting and transfer it to a microwave safe bowl and microwave it for about a minute, stirring it every 15 seconds until the frosting reaches a pourable, glaze-like consistency. So 
Since we aren't piping this frosting on, you don't need to use the whole can. Just about half, maybe even a little less. Now we're going to start dipping our cupcakes. These need to go in the fridge for a few minutes to firm up before we can start placing our webs and spiders on top. So go ahead and put it on top of your baking dish. And then we'll just transfer them all to the fridge when we're done dipping. Now it's time to assemble all of our hard work. Take a web and place it carefully on top of your cupcake. You can either place your spider on his web and glue him down with a little bit of your piping chocolate, um, or do what I did and just place them around the edges. It's very important your frosting is slightly set, otherwise your fat little spiders will jump ship. I had a few spiders look like they were on the verge of making a break for it, but they did stay on. Once all of the spiders are on, put your cupcakes back in the fridge for about 10 minutes. This gives them plenty of time to completely set. Let me know in the comments below if you're planning on baking anything Halloween themed inspired this month. If you like this video, you should probably check out my caramel apple video too. As always, thank you so much for watching my video and if you like this video and would like to see more, please like and subscribe to my channel.